Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video and this video was actually requested by one of our members so I'm gonna make this video for him. So Belayo or Belial asked yesterday um, how can we assign specific keys to different um, keys on a mouse or keyboard, right? With specific functions. So this is pretty much how you create a shortcut or a key binding and you can also actually take this a step forward and make macros with this. So this video is pretty much teaching you how to make macros. Um, so let's begin. So as you guys can see here, I have several accessories from Logitech. I have a mouse, G502, I have a keyboard, G910, and I have a, um, a headphone, Pro X. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a script or a macro on our G502, okay? That pretty much just does something simple like, uh, click twice or whatever, right? And we're going to be assigning the script to another button on our mouse. So let's go ahead and do that. So there are several ways you can do this. First of all, as you can see over here, the active profile is the desktop profile. You can change the active profile over here, or you can actually click on the accessory and then change it over here. I'm going to change it right here. I'm going to change it to the Call of Duty profile. And now I'm going to make changes to this profile. I'm gonna come over here to assignment. Okay, so per profile configuration. So I'm modifying, I'm configuring things per profile. So I'm right now the modification that I make is gonna be for this profile. And I'm gonna go to macros. As you guys can see here, I already have a few macros. I have a slide cancel macro, I have a rapid fire macro, and I have a hop mic macro. None of which I'm using at this time. But I'm gonna actually answer uh, his question, Belayo question, and show him what happens if I assign another key, like the G5, for example. G5, I believe, is standing over here somewhere. I'm actually, I don't use this. They are on my mouse, but I don't use this. But I'll teach you guys how to make them. G5, I believe, is one of these over here. Okay. Uh, if you actually check your mouse, if you look really into it, you're going to see there's a little engraved name on your mouse. Like, if you look physically on your mouse, there's a G5, very small G5. It's right here. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to be assigning the left click to this button. So you can do this several different ways. I believe you can do it through keys. I could be wrong though. Check over here. Right control, right shift. Now these are actually keys, actions, macros. Yeah, we're going to do it through macro because I believe it is the smartest way of doing it. Um, so we're going to go here to macro. We're going to create a new macro and we're just going to call it left click. Okay. Press enter. And we're going to do a, we can do several things. If you do repeat while holding, your mouse is going to be pressing left click while you are holding the G5 button. This is very good. If you're trying to make a, um, somewhat of a rapid fire macro, right? You press the G5 button. It's going to be shooting, right? You can do a no repeat, which means the macro will only pay play once when you press the macro key. So, which means if I press G5 one time, it's gonna press left click one time. Toggle is pretty much like a light switch. If you press G5, it's gonna keep, the script is gonna keep on running the left click over and over again until you press it again, like a light switch. You turn it on and turn it off. Sequence is a little harder to understand, but it pretty much goes through a section of, it goes through a sequence of commands, okay? What we're gonna be doing is you're gonna be doing no repeat, so I can answer my, so I can answer his question. No repeat. And all we're going to do here is you're going to click start now. Record keystrokes. And then you're going to press with your mouse. Okay. Um, sometimes it's a bug. So like sometimes it doesn't actually record the, the clicks. There you go. He recorded it now. So as you can see, this is a mouse left button down, left button up. And that's all we need. So let's delete this other two over here. Let's use a standard delay, okay? And let's save. So now I can just assign this to the G5 button. And now every single time I press this button, it's gonna click. As you can see, it's clicking right now, right? It's clicking, look, boom, right? It's clicking, All right? It's like a click. And if I keep holding it, it's gonna keep on clicking it with a standard delay of 50 milliseconds. 
Let's say you want to make a rapid fire. You go back to the script. You can usually modify from here by clicking it twice over here. Do the macros, click twice, and you can modify it. If you want to make a rapid fire, you just come over here. Actually, it's already set. Repeat while holding. So that's already a rapid fire. We're repeating the fun the, this command while we're holding that button. Okay. If you just want to use the G5 as a left as a left click button, you just put no repeat over here. Save. And now it's just gonna press once. Okay, I press, press, press. It's just like a left click now. Okay. And that's how you make a macro. Now that's how you make a macro on your mouse. Now let's go back and I'm going to teach you guys how to make a macro on your keyboard. Again, as you guys know, we have the Call of Duty profile activated. If you want to activate another profile, just click over here and activate a different profile. Or you can click on the accessory. I'm going to go to the accessory and I'm going to modify the profile to a different one. I'm going to modify the Destiny 2 profile. Okay, now I'm in the Destiny 2 profile. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be going to assignment. And as you guys can see, every single, most games, they're automatically detected. I already have a few functions here um, that the developer gave to you guys. Like a few functions that are helpful. For, for, for example, these ones are functions for Destiny that I can just literally drag and drop, right? Into these keyboard functions on my, on my keyboard, right? Um, right now, I already have one activated for Destiny, which means if I press the G5 key right here, it's going to return to orbit and abort an activity. All right. Return to orbit and abort an activity for me on Destiny is a keyboard, is a keybind of O. When I press O, it either returns to orbit or your boss an activity. That's what it is for me. Okay. If you actually click here, you should be able to see what that does. Hold on. Uh, where is it? Return to orbit. Right here. O. Okay. It's so assigned right here. So let's say you want to do something else. Let's say you want to, I don't know, make a macro that you want to uh, somehow um, activate a rapid fire or whatever through here. You can do the same thing. Create a new macro, rapid fire, repeat while holding. And while we are holding the a key on a keyboard, it's going to be repeating this. So start now. And I'm going to press. There you go. Uh, yeah, I want this one. I don't want the left. There you go. So now it's going to, while we're holding the G4 key, for example, so I'm going to actually press save. I'm going to press save. And I'm going to assign it to G4. So while we're holding G4, it's going to be doing a rapid fire. So as you can see, that's, that's happening right now. I'm holding G4 and it's pressing. It's letting go and pressing. So as you can see, I'm not pressing on my, my, I'm not pressing on my mouse. If I was pressing my mouse, you guys would be able to hear like this. So there you go. All right. That's how you make a macro. That's a simple, very simple and very easy to make macro. There are more advanced macros you guys can make. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. If you want more advanced tutorials, just let me know in the description of this video, in the comments of this video. And remember, I have um, tutorials on my website and I also have applications on my website that you guys can go and purchase and I have free applications too on my website okay so make sure you go on my website and take a look at those thank you guys and have a nice day